The swelling crowds surging the U.S. southern border mark the end of pandemic-era immigration rules. Between Mexico and the Texas border wall, now 4,000 U.S. troops join thousands of border control agents at the vanguard of an effort to push back the swelling human tide. Our borders are not open. People who cross our border unlawfully and without a legal basis to remain will be pr promptly processed and removed. El Paso's Sacred Heart Church has long been home to about 200 migrants, many spilling out into the streets, surviving on donated food and bathing outdoors. Lately, the number seeking refuge has spiked. There were up to 1,200 people around this area on the sidewalks, on some of these side streets. Earlier this week, U.S. immigration agents moved them for processing ahead of the expected surge to come. These are the lucky ones, the migrants who arrived and avoided deportation from the U.S. before the end of Title 42, the pandemic-era rule that allowed the U.S. to turn away 2.7 million migrants over the past three years. Darwin trekked from Ecuador on foot and entered the U.S. through a hole in the border wall in search of a new life. I don't have anything. I want a better future so I can work, so I can help my family. Now, migrants who cross won't be immediately expelled from the U.S., but the new rules are strict. Anyone seeking asylum in the U.S. must first show they've sought it elsewhere and been rejected, a bar few can meet. Those deported can be excluded from the U.S. for five years, but the lucky ones who make it to this side of the wall then begin a second journey through the asylum court process, and that can take years. Suwani received the papers that let her pursue asylum this week. She fled Honduras with a daughter that she says was persecuted for being a lesbian. I want a better future for her, and I want to help my father, who's older now. Alejandro is one of 30,000 migrants each month from Venezuela, Nicaragua, Cuba, and Haiti who are allowed to enter the U.S. through a new humanitarian parole program. What I want to do is work. As the surge of migrants rises on the U.S. border, many will likely take their chances with illegal crossings, joining the millions who already live in twilight status. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, El Paso. Well, Alex Miller is from the American.